up, guys? <laughs> What's up guys, JFM here, welcome back to another episode of the Survival Let's Play, guys. I'm really excited because today I've got some special stuff to work on. It's been a while, but I think it's time to revisit the jungle tree house. Oh, you can't even see it from here. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> so, I've actually changed, what is that, dude? Is that skeleton really decked out in iron armor? That, whoa! Whoa, dude, relax. Hey, 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 I'm not trying to make an enemy. <laughs> wow, look at this dude, he's taking a hit after hit. Holy cow, what is this bow? Power four, and he just took like four hits with it. Oh my goodness, well, I'll grab that. Let's see what these legs have on them, huh, shall we? Oh. That's kind of underwhelming. Well, anyways, <laughs> we today will be working on something I have not worked on in forever, and that is the jungle treehouse thingamajiggy. And I've been getting a lot of comments recently just saying it's kind of out there, because it's not connected to anything that I've done, so I'm never really either running by it or using it or anything like that. So today, I thought would be uh, the perfect day to work a little bit on well, the jungle treehouse. Now, I've already changed everything. I've just scrapped what I've done and I've restarted pretty much completely. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that. So I have a design, okay, that, uh, huh. Well, you're gonna have to go for a second. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but right here, as you can tell, I I've got a new design and I can't actually get to it any easy way. I'll just jump down here for now. You see, this is, uh, this is not planned. This was not, I did not mean for this to happen. There we go, we're inside. So this right here, well, this is the new design I'm going with. Now it took a long time to get here. A lot of just watching other people's designs uh, on YouTube, on different sites like Reddit, you know, all, all sorts of different places. Places, I just didn't really know how I should go about building these things because if you leave the tree trunk in here You don't have a lot of room, but it So I don't know I was just having a lot of trouble and I finally after weeks and weeks and just of just testing stuff randomly uh, Seeing what looks good. I think I've come up with a design and it's not crazy. It's not groundbreaking But this is the design that I think I'll be and you can't really see it at all <laughs> There we go, this is it. So it's a nice open area, and uh, it's got enough room for windows, it's got room for activities, it's got room for all sorts of stuff. Now there are a few problems with the builds that I had previously, and I'll go ahead and try to explain it now. So the ones that I had earlier, although I thought they looked really good, they didn't really work out because they had slabs as the floor, and the slabs were on the first half of the block. So the slab would be like that. And you couldn't place anything on top of the floor, so there's no real way to decorate the inside. And also, they didn't have walls either, so there was n no real decoration opportunity for any of those. So I decided to scrap those, and I've gone ahead and added platforms where I'm gonna build a ton more of these. And I'm gonna make them all the same at first, and then probably add some variation, make a few a bit bigger, maybe add some porches, or just do some fun stuff like that. So I'm not too sure exactly how this is gonna turn out, but I've got a lot of supplies here ready to go, so uh, it's it's gonna be fun. So I guess now I'll start building one. Now another thing that I really didn't like previously was was the, the bridges in between them. They just didn't look realistic, so I can't really show you this from any angle. Hmm. I guess I could now okay I'm just gonna start building but yeah I mean I, I fixed it up and I think the bridges they look a lot more realistic now I don't have bridges in between a lot of these that one is not permanent that's just to get down there so I'll actually have to make a few bridges today which could be difficult but we'll see because bridges take a lot of trial and error it's just like seeing what looks good going back fixing it seeing if it looks good so it, it's a lot of uh, trial and error like I said but should be entertaining so let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you guys how I build this and maybe if you guys like you could try building it on your own world so a new project uh, the last project was the uh, villager village which was really fun I had a blast doing that and I think this one could be just as fun as long as as long as I keep a little bit of variation because this is gonna be a lot of building the same stuff so 
I guess there I've got to find ways to make it interesting by adding different interiors into these buildings and maybe changing the size of maybe every other building and just seeing different ways to create a kind of variation in a very I don't know similar build style throughout the whole process so like this this may pose as a challenge it may be difficult to try to do this and I and I, I think I'm ready for it I cuz I'm just really in a building mood I want to create more on this world creating is so much fun so uh, I don't know it, it's been great so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these middle blocks right here and I may leave these in some of the trees just to add a little bit of variation like I said but uh, for this one I don't think I'm gonna be needing it because uh, well I don't see a reason to uh, in this one some of the ones that I may build later I might actually have like for this one um, you can see that there's one right here and there's also another platform up there I may leave the trunk in the bottom one so that I can have a ladder or a spiral staircase that goes up into the second room so that could be pretty cool we could see how that would work out but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and build this roof the roof is fairly self-explanatory I just use spruce planks just to you know add a little bit of variation in color here because I've got oak jungle and spruce so three types of wood I, I really need to find a way to add acacia but it really sticks out like a sore thumb uh, especially in this jungle color palette so the hardest and most tedious part about this build is death going to be placing uh, these roofs but it should be fairly simple once I start and I guess once I get going it shouldn't be too bad but uh yeah this is what the roof looks like and I just realized there's a much easier way to do this in pocket edition you can just walk just like that oh that made it so much easier that is gonna save me so much time in the long run so there we go I think we've gone ahead and already completed one of these builds so let me go grab some torches here and I'll uh, place them down I'm not gonna do the interior just yet but there we go we've got a completed uh, thing here so another one of the reasons I wanted to restructure this whole entire thing tear it down and build it a little bit differently was because the other one had no community area for this so-called town so uh, this is going to have a big platform right here as you can tell I'm gonna leave this this may look uh, kind of weird right now But I'll add some design to it. I'll add fences around the edge But this huge open area is gonna be basically a meeting place for all of the people that would live in this town If there were actually people in here, I may actually add villagers that would that would kind of be cool and I don't think villagers would find an easy way down either so it might actually work but for now <laughs> what I'll do is I'm making this temporary bridge I'll, I'll make a nicer one later but this is the bridge leading up to this area and I think what I'll probably do is oh I don't want to break that just yet I'm thinking and I, I need to make a spiral staircase up to that next thing so not too sure how I'm gonna do that. Oh, and another thing. I definitely believe, I, uh, I think I want to avoid using glass just because I think it's going to stick out. And I, I, I may change my mind later, but I think glass is just not gonna look right for a, for a village of this style because it's supposed to be sort of um, almost primal really and I, and I don't think anybody up here would would be using glass and oh geez that kind of oh, this is weird I need to I definitely need to add a bridge to that one fairly soon but that's fine actually wow you don't even have to take fall damage so I may just leave it like that for a while <laughs> we'll work on that later but um yeah so no glass for now I may change my mind later but I'm definitely liking that so we've got that building over there and uh, oh, and I also need to add a little bit more depth to the roof now that I'm looking at it. So let me do that. There, much better. Okay, so I am definitely into that look, and uh, we can go ahead and uh, see what we can do about this again. And I don't think I have any oak slabs. I think that was one of the mistakes I made. I just got a ton of planks. So we can just grab some more here. Uh, when I prepare for these episodes, I try to make it as simple as possible, the easiest viewing experience, so I usually try to grab everything first, but of course, I forgot a pretty important block there, so that's my fault, but um, I guess we'll start uh, building up here, and uh, you know what, I may just use a ladder. Uh, well, I think this will end up looking nicer, although the ladder may be easier, so a little bit of a trade-off, but I think I want to use this. Oh, okay, here we are. So I can't get any higher without breaking these two blocks. So, uh, I don't know if I want this spiral to go all the way up into the room, because that's going to take up a lot of floor space, which is something I may 
I may want to avoid. Let's see, uh, let's see what this looks like once I go up. So if I bring this up a few more, where would I enter the room if I continue this level of... Uh, I think I may be on the other side, like on that back side. So we'll see uh, if this ends up looking good, or I may stop the spiral case stair... Oh, jeez, I said that weird. A uh, staircase short, no! No, 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 no! I, it's not gonna take up too much of the floor, because if you can see, it only takes up that much, which is, I, I can deal with that, I can deal with that. So time to build our third house, our second of the episode. Now this one is very likely to change, but I just want to get the foundation of this village down, and uh, and then later we can go ahead and add a little bit uh, of variation to these. But the reason I think I may end up changing this one more than I think I might change any others is because of that uh, staircase coming up into it, because it really is going to make it a much smaller room. So I may decide just to kick this open, and add another whole area over on top of that tree and uh, we can add that variation when time comes but we may spend maybe one or two episodes uh, working on this and then a little bit of off-camera work I'd say I'd say we're, we're gonna it's not gonna take the longest time because I and I think I know exactly what I'm doing so yeah we'll just have a little bit of change to do but that may be in the next episode we'll see what happens and the last block of this roof is placed, and I'm not going to be going any higher on that build, so I think that's good. And I'll go ahead and grab some of these spruce fences and get these down. Is there any way uh, I might be able to... Yeah, let me get over here, and I also probably should break this crafting table. Not going to be needing that there anymore. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this staircase is pretty cool. Kind of dangerous, which adds to the value, I think. I may end up adding some sort sort of railing, but I, I also like the dangerous feeling of that. I, I don't know. It just, I, I'm not too sure. I think it adds a little bit to the, to the whole environment, so... We may keep that. Um, and then over here, this is where you'll get to the next big building. Now, as you can see, it doesn't line up exactly, which kind of stinks, but it's also going to allow me to create a little bit of variation. Please ignore this bridge for now. <laughs> it's just temporary. But the reason I'm excited about why, I mean, this is off, so I usually you wouldn't see someone be excited about that, but I think what I want to do to compensate for that is add a porch right out here so that you may come onto the porch here, but the door can still be centered on the building. So I'm really excited to see how that looks, and uh, hopefully that'll end up looking pretty cool. Also up here, because this is the top building, I think I can go ahead and get rid of this uh, log piece here, and it's going to free up a little bit more space within the build. Alright guys, so I've gotten a little bit more work done, and uh, I think you guys will like it, so as you can tell, I finished up the porch on that house, which I guess the underside, now that I'm looking at it, looks kind of weird, but, you know, I can manage. And I've also got the second house on top, so... I'm not sure if there's an easy vantage point, huh? Yeah, there's no real good spot for me to show you guys, but I also want to show you that I have completed the bridge. Uh, this one's a small little ruby bridge, so uh, that looks pretty cool. I may as well add that torch there for now. And then up here, I've also changed this bridge as well. So this is the room we've done already. Over here, I've actually added a, a good bridge, and I think that is a good uh, look. And if I can show... Oh, hold on, let's sneak. Yeah, so I mean, it looks good. Uh, trust me, it looks good. I I've looked at it from other angles using uh, piles of uh, wood, so I could see. I guess I could go over here. Oh yeah, that's not much of a jump. Yeah, okay, I can show you guys from here. So, there you go. It looks like an actual droop. Kind of steep at first, and then it flattens out. So I like that. Can I get this jump? Oh my goodness! That was awesome. <laughs> so, um, this is the porch around this house. Then over here, instead of adding the spiral, I just decided to... Oh, wait a second. Do I have vines with me? I do. I do. Perfect. So, I'll go ahead and use these uh, to go ahead and finish this off. So, there we go. Uh, so, up here, we're going to use vines to climb up to this level. And uh, on this level, what we're going to have is, well, uh, I don't know. But we're going to leave the trunk in here because we also need to be able to climb up another level for, of course, you guys know. You guys know if you've been here for a while, you would know we've got it. Oh, please don't miss this. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Yes! <laughs> 
the Sky Island. And now you actually jump over that bridge, which is super cool. Oh my goodness. This looks so much better in the sunshine. I mean, in the rain, it didn't look good at all, but now, now I'm really feeling this, man. And at nighttime, I imagine it would look really, really cool as well. So we're going to continue on this uh, build here, and uh, I've almost finished up this one already, which is pretty exciting. Uh, I need to go ahead and add the roof, which uh, is a little bit tedious, but you know what? It is what it is, and I don't know how much to show you guys, because I'm really, I really am just building the same house over and over again, so I don't want to show you guys too much and get you super bored, but at the same time, I want to show you the thought process that I'm using, and I don't want to make this episode two minutes, so <laughs> we're working here, we're working here. Anyways, probably need to get up now, and uh, we can build around the edge. So, uh, well, I'm back, and I think I've successfully created a better village, and I'm really, really pleased with this. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, ugh, that's a little bit of a problem. I gotta figure out how to work with that, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some fences around this main area I was talking about. I'm not sure what to put over here. I, I think I may need your guys' help, because right now, I I I've got this area, but there's not much I can think to put here. So let me go ahead, add all of these fences, and I'll show you guys what we've got so far. Okay, so here is is the common area and I'm pretty pleased with that I should probably let me make a little bit more food here uh, get some more wheat and some bread bumper and so on uh, yeah all right let's take a look so over here we've got uh, this first house we made and uh, I'm pretty pleased with it I'm not too sure what I'm gonna have inside but I really like the bridge so I don't have much to change on that house so I'm good with that um, over here if we actually go down a layer uh, this is I guess the open Ooh, that's a problem and that's a problem. You need to go, buddy. Figure that out in a minute. Uh, this one needs to go as well. <laughs> um, over here, I've got this house, and I've just added a small bridge to it. It's going to have a small doorway, so this can be some sort of private house, or maybe it's like the gate, so you got to pay the entrance or, or talk to the person that leads the village here, maybe, before you go up to the rest of the houses and the main platform. Just an idea. I'm not too sure. Um, and then over here, once you go over here, this will take you to the second floor of the whole place. And on this floor, we've got this building here, which I'm not too sure there's much I can fit, so uh, we'll just leave it like that. Um, over here, we've got this building we've made with the porch, and there's not actually any light sources in here, so I should probably just add these for now. Uh, I'll figure something out later, uh, permanently. But um, over here, climbing up, we've got another building. Now, this is probably going to be... Uh, not too much in here either, just because, well, uh, well, there's a huge tree in the middle, but the main purpose of this, of course, is to bring us up to our jumping point. So, uh, yeah, and oh my goodness, look at this view. Look at this view! Oh, <laughs> that's awesome! And I really wish I could see- you can sort of see the village from here! Oh, that's sick! Okay, let me go back down here, and, uh, continue with the semi-finished tour. So, um, over here, this is the only bridge that I haven't actually done yet, and it's gonna take a little bit more work, just because it's diagonal. So it's gonna be a challenge. It's definitely going to be a challenge. I'll probably have a porch out here, and then I'll think- I think that'll look good. Over here, we've got another open room, so we've got a plenty- uh, plenty we can do here. Um, and then down here, we've got another bridge that I end up liking, and, uh, this room in here, which is good as well. And is this bigger than the other rooms? Hold on, did I make this one small? No, I don't know why that felt so big for some reason. Maybe just the light on the inside, I don't know. Anyways, place some torches down here, probably need some torches. Yeah, I need some torches in here as well. So, we have a good design here. And by the way, I really like the way this bridge turned out as well. Uh, the droopiness of that is solid. I approve. This one, uh, I definitely need to fix, for sure. So, I'll have to work on this off camera, but everything else, I think I am perfectly fine with. I also think I want to add some border on, on the sides of the bridges. I may not, though. We'll just see how it looks uh, once I do. But for now, I think this episode may be just to wrapping up to be uh because i don't really know what to do so i guess what i'm asking now is for your help what i need from you guys is design so you saw me build like seven of these so if you guys can build one and then just design the interior Put some stuff on the inside, give me some ideas, maybe some could be shops, some could be houses, guys. Show me up and let me know what you think. Now, personally, 
I'll probably need, wait, that should be a house, right? Uh, maybe this could be a house over here, and then maybe that one at the end, uh, if I can get over here and show you guys. Maybe, maybe, um, this one could be a house as well, off in that direction. But, uh, the ones that you travel through, so, like, this one, and that one, and, uh, I guess not that one. So, maybe these two right here should not be houses, because people are gonna have to travel through them to get to other houses. So, I don't know. It's up to you guys. You guys can let me know what you think. But, uh, I think, I think it's gonna be a really cool video with your guys' help and, and your guys' ideas. So hopefully you can help me out with that. Uh, just build one of these, change the interior, send me pictures. You can do it over and over again too. And uh, let me know what you guys get with this village. And hopefully we can create an awesome area up here that looks to be a thriving environment for these uh, tree dwellers. So it'll be pretty cool and I, and I guess I can finally check the tree hut off of my list. It's the tree kingdom now, it's going to be. And I may also add a few more houses, just to spice it up a little bit. So we'll see how it goes, but for now, guys, I think that just about wraps it up for today. So thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.